My dearest Marie, I'm afraid I have some unfortunate news. The Germans have encircled Verdun, and we are trapped. We can hear the artillery shells thundering day and night, and the ground shakes with each explosion. We're running low on food and ammunition, and I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. The constant shelling has left many of my comrades dead or wounded. It's difficult to sleep at night with the sound of their moans and screams echoing in my ears. We've heard rumors that a counterattack is being planned, but it's hard to say if it will be enough to break through the German lines. The thought of being stuck here fills me with dread. What if we never see home again? I can only hope that this letter reaches you, but I fear it will not. I think of you constantly, and the thought of you and our children keeps me going. Please know that I love you, and that I will do everything in my power to make it out of this alive. Yours always, Pierre. Hey guys, still here, and welcome to episode 16, Great War Western Front. In episode 15, I completed the surrounding of saint Menoult and the legendary Verdun. I don't want to fight here, there's too many fortresses, bad map, no thank you. So, that means that these three cores, as well as all of these guys, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, they're all stuck, including that one fighter. Now, this is going to take them a while. Because these guys have two stars, so after those two stars get turned down, that's one star per turn, they are going to be uh, sent back to Paris. They don't die, they just get sent back to Paris. Same for the guys in Verdun. Verdun's going to take a little longer. Um, ideally, I would have had this stack of the allies in Verdun, so I had four turns of uninterrupted warfare. The allies, however, might make a counterattack here. Based on the amount of forces that they have here, and probably a fairly uh, determined enemy in the sense that if they don't break this blockade, they're going to lose this territory. They might very well attack Vosier. So, making sure that that doesn't happen is going to be a high priority. I'm going to be removing some stacks from Rethel, and I have already removed everything from behind here. Seeing as I would like to definitely get tanks at some point, I'm going to require a couple of research things. I'm going to require this one, Efficient Light Artillery, reduces cooldown by 3 seconds. It is uh, rather unsexy, but it can help. We can also get the Trench Reinforcement, Advanced Firing Trench for upgrade or purchase. And we're also going to eventually need Limited Exchange. Increases Gold Reserve to Supply ratio to 40%. So right now we're getting a pretty bad deal if I'm buying supplies. This is going to make that better. I'm also going to need the Storage Shack. So, let's get this. Um, it's going to be a couple of uninteresting research upgrades, but they're going to be useful nonetheless. Now, let's immediately put that into the action, because I already have 10,000 gold. So, let's give them a supply depot too. And now I can use 300 supply from the companies, plus 600 from the supply, company, from the supply pipeline, which is substantial. Unfortunately, the guys just got here, so I don't believe they can actually fight. They're kind of locked into that position. Although I might be wrong about that. Maybe they can fight, but only in a defensive role. As for the rest, I don't think I need to shuffle too many men around here. They don't have any uh, doom stacks, nor am I really expecting any large offensive actions. My plan of going for Calais is not going to work. As was pointed out in the comments, you cannot surround Calais. And on top of that, you can, uh, well, you can attack it, but it seems a bit bugged. To the tune where infantry from the British will still spawn in Calais, whether you have it or not. So, I think we're just going to take a bit more territory, but it's going to get progressively more difficult. Chateau Cherry has four stars. This means I need to attack it from multiple vectors per turn if I want to reduce these guys to ashes quickly. And I already have all of my stacks here, I can't exactly move them. Uh, breaking through here would then move on to, well, ideally just break through here and carve a line south and just entrench everything here. At which point I think the Allies will have lost all their national will and will be dead. For now though, let's wait until the Allies turn and see what they actually decide to do. Right now it looks like they're just shuffling guys around. Yeah, they're actually not doing much of anything. What I keep forgetting to check on is events. Uh, the internment. Approximately 20,000 women and girls from cities in occupied France are rounded up by the German military authorities and forced into agricultural work by the German army. 
Later, close to 60,000 Belgian men are conscripted for forced labor. It should be noted that most of the nations in World War I had internment or forced labor camps of some level, including Great Britain and the United States. The treatment of internees varied, but in most cases the only crime they committed was to be born in a different country than the nation who held them. Minus five national will. And the other events? Um, an army is only as strong as the will of its men. I need to defeat two Canadian infantry companies and I get 400 gold. The thing is, I'm not really sure where the Canadians are at. Because I cannot see the nationality of these stacks, I can only see that they're allies. Alright, so one star has been removed from Sant, one star has been removed from Verdun. The guys here are nice and stuck. And as it turns out, the enemy does seem to have a plan. They do seem to uh, note what I'm doing. And most likely are going to be badly defending the places here and here. So instead, we're going to go with the other plan. And I'm going to push him from here. This is going to go from Chaumont to Brienne-le-Château and from saint diger to Brienne-le-Château. i got a, a fairly hefty amount of punch here with four siege batteries. So we're going to get ready with those. And as I was saying, I don't uh, expect to do a whole lot of sexy research this turn. Or rather, these couple of turns. So we're just going to go and make our way over to tanks eventually. Expect it to be a minor victory. Um, I'm not going to upgrade the strategic buildings that I have in saint diger Because if I play this right... Then, in one fell swoop, I can immediately take this sector. Just immediately take it over. By attacking from two different sides. Uh, three, if I so desire. So, let's push in with these. And let's have a battle. So, what's the lay of the land? Well, we got a bit of a river here. Um, as well as a couple of forests. Forests can be used, in this case, to great effect. Because I can sneak up through the forest and then make my way over to A. If I can capture A, that would give me this spawn point and from here I can start pushing in. Of course, they're not going to quite go down as easily as that. They do have some forces here and they've probably been digging more and more and more trenches. I wouldn't at all be surprised if all of these trenches are going to end up connected because the AI tends to like doing that. And uh, let's focus on my defense first by not connecting too many trenches. I've been here before. This looks like a line of trenches I would dig. Interesting defense over here. Yeah. Okay, so the first idea that I'm going to go with is uh, pushing from this side through the forest. Hammering the guys with artillery. And then going on the full offensive towards the sides. Sadly, no elite infantry this turn. Uh, we're going to have to use the standard line infantry that the Germans get. Not necessarily bad infantry. They're just not as good. So there is that. Let's go over to the far side of the map and defend this. How far can we put a trench? Oh, you can put the trenches all the way over there. We should have led with that. Um... Yeah. Now, what I used to do was put guys in, or was double stack guys in the trenches here to make sure that if we're going to go man to man, I'll be able to get at them uh, with two guys inside of a trench. And by doing it this way, I hope not to have to do that and instead be able to use the snipers that these guys come with. Now, my observation balloons are cheaper, which is very useful. Let's put an observation balloon there. And I can put one as far afoot as here, but it is a very fragile position. So I think perhaps this side is easier. But I wonder if it's worth it. Because if I put an observation balloon here, sure, I can see all the way to this side. But I might be able to spot that from here as well. So seeing as I'm going to spend 120 resources on that, well, I'd actually rather not. Get some big guns, soften up the infantry that's going to be inside of enemy trenches. And we're... Well, we might be struggling a little bit, getting a couple of lighter batteries in. Or are these lights? Oh, sorry, these are lights. My bad. As I was saying, heavy field artillery does not have a problem reaching the other side of the map. These guys might have a bit more difficulty seeing their limited range. 
Can I rotate them to see... Yeah, that's going to be a bit better. Okay. So now i got 22 for 30. I'm going to need a few more infantry units. And I might do with a bit more defenses. A bit more MGs. Let's go with an MG there. Uh, barbed wire is still 10 points. Which means I could deploy a good lot of it. But, well, I'm not really expecting them to make much of a move. Oh, and then, of course, that is potentially a weakness in my thinking. That means that they might exactly, for that particular reason, go on the offensive. There. <clears throat> mm. Let's go another trench here. Let's put some infantry in there. And um, we're going to need some more. Infantry there. I feel like my left side's a bit, bit weak. Let's put an extra trench up. And yeah, there, that's fine. Intentionally not getting these connected, making sure that they're not going to be an easy target. Uh, siege batteries. I can destroy 10% of their trenches. No, I'm not going to use it. This time, not so much. I'm already spending enough as is. I don't need any more. Can I put... So yeah, I can put another trench there. That's fine. Let's connect that up. And begin. Okay, how much does the opposition have? How much did they bring? Sadly, they didn't connect their trenches here. Yep, as expected, they did connect all the trenches right here. From C, you can get all the way to the command trench. That is very convenient, and I would like to thank the enemy for doing just that. So let's put the already on that. Let's put the other... Uh, no, there's going to be a light battery going for this. And another light battery going for this. I want the other, the other heavy battery going for this. And... Hello. That's an observation balloon. I need to take that observation balloon out somehow. I need to find the winch truck first. So, gentlemen, I have some uh, fairly bad news. You're going to be spotting. No, not really. We're not going to be spotting them yet. We're going to go for the forest and then push right through. Go to standard speed. Bring the rest of the companies up. I'm going to slow the game down every now and then if I feel like I need to. That machine gun is alive. You guys have still not learned? Huh. I'm not sure what's happening here, but these guys are not sitting inside the trench. It's an interesting choice that they're making. Oh! And that's the observation balloon. And it's deadly, deadly effects. Because they can just see all of my guys come into the forest. Slow. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be a little brutal and barge right in. It's not going to be very fun for my guys. But it's the only choice that I have right now. Hit this. You and you take this. You and you take this. You, you, you and you basically move up until I have something to do. Take this. Uh, hit this trench because it can still shoot somewhat sideways. These guys are getting suppressed. Machine gun is dead. That machine gun is not. Shit. I should have seen that. Oh boy. I now don't have any weapons that can actually shoot at that. Because everything's being used. Uh, give me a second. Gentlemen, I need you to stop. You, you, and you. We've got a fairly deadly machine gun in a really nasty position. So I need you to just stop. Until such a time as we can destroy that machine gun. Oh, there's another one over there. Damn. Uh, this time I don't have a lot of supplies, so I'm going to have to make a pretty economic warfare here. And uh, basically not lose too much. I mean, that's, that's kind of the plan for every battle, but... Considering the few supplies that I have, it's going to be especially relevant for this one. I'm going to kill off those machine guns first. Before I do anything else. <clears throat> okay, we got the trenches here. Somewhat. 
It seems like we're getting hit by there already now. From an unknown vector. Considering the poor health that my men are in, I don't think they're going to survive. Okay, that's 1MG down. Second one's being worked on. Gentlemen, I need you to push forward just a little bit. And then we're going to start taking out these trenches here. I just need a suppressive battery to help me do that. Okay, go. You and you. Bad news. You're it. You and you. Move in. If they got reinforcements, it's going to come from over here. So holding onto this trench is going to be rather vital. Push the rest forward a bit. You, get all the way over there. If you can. That machine gun has been destroyed. Well done. They keep shifting their forces around, so they're not actually making any offensive moves here. That's good. The clock is still ticking. Oh, that tr trench. No, it's not even in the trench. It's just the French that are sitting outside of the trench. Well, they'll soon come to regret that. Uh, yep, yeah, go in here. Oh, it's not great, but I don't want to spend too much arty on that. Uh, any chance we can spot that balloon? If it's even a threat at this stage? Not sure about that. You, leave. That's a pretty long resupply line. Not a big fan, but it's the only route that we currently have up until where we actually capture A. So, that's the objective. Capture A, ASAP. And that means all of these British are going to have to just disappear one way or another. Oi! I'm trying to not die here. Artie is not helpful. Okay, so we took this. You guys can move up. What are they doing? Between the two of you, force out the British and be quick about it. Get in here. Get in here. I think the trench might be slightly safer than just keeping them outside, but I'm not really sure. Oh, and now nobody knows where they're going. Okay, you and you, forward. If they wanna... No, we're outside of the trench. Okay, now we're going man to man. Excellent. Well, that's relative. Not that excellent, <clears throat> considering how many men are gonna be dead. Okay, British Infantry retreated. Now these guys are still not sure exactly where they're going to set up. So they... Yeah, they're definitely going to fight me here. Okay, that's their mistake. I need more arty on this, but I can't quite see it. I want you to leave, and I want you to leave. You're going to move up here. Ooh, this is not going to go my way. You, forward. Come on, start capturing Alpha. It's five minutes. We haven't made any reasonable progress. Here we go. Leave. I'm going to capture A and then start to bring in additional stuff. Uh, this trench is definitely aggressive. I want to pre-position some more of my forces before I actually try and make any moves. Sadly, I don't have any more forces. Um... This is going to take a bit of time. In that time, I can walk all the way from over there. I can also bring the forces that are currently defending the place. So let's do that. Let's bring those. Let's push some of these guys forward in case the allies decide to do a counterattack. I want you in this trench. I don't like the amount of supplies that the allies still have. It doesn't feel, fill me with a, a great amount of confidence because... Normally, they tend to run lots lower than they're currently at. Get into the trench. They've definitely been using heavy arty on this. This is almost half a company dead. Okay, we got a, uh, a control point. That's good. Now I can start to bring in guys here, 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 here. There, there. Bloody hell, dude. It's two-thirds of my company dead. 
I still don't feel like I'm particularly ready to start pushing up. And I hate it. But if I keep getting hammered like this, it's going to be a fairly short offensive indeed. Okay, you guys move up to there. Alright, here we go. Um, you hammer this with the big gun. You hammer that, because I'm certain there's something in there. We're going to do a bit of suppressive fire on the rest. Try to capture this. You guys are going to capture that. <clears throat> it's going to be costly. That's for sure. It's going to be costly. I'm keeping a few guns in reserve. So I can still suppress anybody who happens to wake up. And potentially a machine gun. Because I'm kind of expecting one. Oh, there's a lot. Get in here. It's not a machine gun, but there's definitely people who really do not want me in their trench. Come on, I need a sweep on this. Okay, the B point has been blocked off, so they cannot respawn here. And I might get an opportunity to wipe out their heavy battery. Uh, these guys are still available to fire. Don't want that. Because I got more men coming in. And I'm going to need them to bolster my numbers here. This company is going to be gone. If they keep shuffling around, then that's fine. That's going to buy me the time that I need. Go. Go there, in fact. You guys move up. I swear we're getting shot at from somewhere. Yeah, here. We got this large... Oh, Jesus. A whole lot of them. Oh, that's expensive. That's a lot of men. It's that damn observation balloon that's keeping everything spotted. Okay, get to killing these people. Get on it. Or soon we won't have to. Go make your way over there, eventually. Get in, uh, I don't know, here. Kick out these French. Kick out these Brits. Move up. The AI is still a bit weird. Come on. That's the French company gone. Well done. We're going to block off the movement that the British have here. You guys are going to get in there. You guys are going to get in there. We're 12 minutes and 36. There's another artillery battery. Another heavy. I might just move sideways from here to that trench. I think that's, a, well, a slightly safer way to go about it. Ah, they're pushing outside of the trench. Excellent mistake. Swap. Gentlemen. What's the deal? Oh, come on. There's two companies here. I know you guys have had it a bit rough, but I kind of need you to win. Morale for these companies is pretty bad. Only 40%. Whatever. Kick him out. Get rid of the Artie. These Brits are failing. There's... Are you shooting your own men? That's a little rough. Look at the short range firepower for these guys. This is shooting here. That's uh, pretty impressive. Let's put it that way. Okay, we're going to push up. We're going to do a drive-by kill. And rest of the companies, we're going to need to capture this position and stop the clock. If only for a little bit. Oh, crap. More Brits coming in. Kill this. Good. Get in here. Can't hit that from that far. These companies are all but dead. Hold on a second. I wasn't quite expecting uh, nor hoping for further reinforcements from the Allies. So my troops here are kind of caught out of position. Kind of a lot. 
Get rid of them. Yeah, nice work. Okay. So press this trench again. And this time we're going to move for it. Just get it. You and you. There. So press this part. <coughs> get rid of the machine gun. Sorry, get rid of the arty. Oh boy. That's a lot of men. Hold on. You and you. Get in here. You and you. Stop dying. Really? You're on 0% health. Why are you not dead? Good lord, they got a whole lot of defenses here. And an MG. Not from an ideal angle, I might add. Leave, leave. Don't fall that back, that far. Oh no. This is uh, probably not going to work. I'm losing way too many men. Unless they spend everything they have on arty or men... I don't have the firepower to deal with this. Let's see if they want to crash into my defenses for a second. I doubt it. I only got 225 points of supply left. That is not a lot. They seemingly also don't have that much left. But they don't need to attack. They just need to stay where they are. Damn, these guys are putting up a fierce resistance. I did get most of their arty, I guess. Still got some here? No. Or at least not that I know of. Hmm. Ten minutes. I can call in a whole bunch of conscripts, but they're fairly useless. They die very quickly and they're not very effective when it comes to damage dealing. I can call in 20 companies with standard infantry, but... That means I will not have any way to give them fire support. So let's bring in a couple more. And let's prepare for something, because I do need to make something happen here. I still want to get here and here, and we're probably going to have to do it in waves. So first this trench, or these two trenches move up, and then the other trenches start moving uh, with me. Here. It's busy there. More men. I'm down to 147 supply. Okay, here it goes. So, um, this one hits this. This one hits this. And this one doesn't hit that because they don't have a field of fire. Fine. Go. Go. What happened to this trench? Ah, oh, there is the entry point. Go. You, you're gonna also go to the forest. Hammer the entry points to these trenches. Come on, I just need to cut them off. All that I gotta do. Make sure that they cannot bring in any further men. Hold on. Yeah, look at this. Everybody and their mother starts shooting it from here. And here. But I don't have a gun on that. You there. That's causing a lot of losses early on. Get in the trench. Get in here. This machine gun is not very nicely placed for my position. Hmm. Okay. We got this one pretty good. Anybody that comes in is going to have a nasty, nasty surprise waiting for them. Okay, we got this trench. Get some reinforcements in there. We need more uh, people in the forest. We're going to have to start pushing sideways with these two full batteries. Or keep them here and let the allies waste every bit of reinforcements that they have. This is going to go pretty poorly. Jeez, look at this. 
This is definitely the moment when we can get most of the kills. Because most of these companies are trying to all capture the same trench. They're competing for the same trench, and you cannot put that many men inside. Very, very quickly, it's not going to be a trench, it's going to be a mass grave. Mine, by the looks of it. Because uh, getting in there is going to be tricky. Take this. Supply is severely depleted. Yeah, we just passed the sub-100 point. Good lord, dude. Can we hit this with a siege battery? Well, not a siege battery. That would be a bit cruel. Just field battery. <clears throat> Something slightly smaller. Up until the point where I capture the command trench or start competing on it, I cannot stop them from bringing in further reinforcements. But they seem to be doing that all by themselves as they're running out of supplies. Oh boy. Definitely not my best attack. I thought I would have more supplies than I actually did. And now I'm noticing the effects of that. There's another one, two companies. <laughs> yes, if you'd like to follow me, please. That would be grand. Gone. Now, get a couple of these before they lay eggs. Uh, we're going to have to put you in there. And you. There we go. That's the reinforcements that are coming in. Taking fire from, well... I'm not even sure from where, honestly. I've completely given up on capturing C. If I can just get some form of a victory, that would probably be all that I can hope to expect. All that I can hope for at this stage. <clears throat> just make it as pricey as possible for the Allies. This is never going to work. That's a lot of men you got there. I grossly misunderestimated the amount of forces that they would send this way. Oh, they're even going to take this. This trench is really badly fought over. <clears throat> Can I get another couple of companies to move forward at least? Maybe snipe some of the men that are coming in? Because I certainly can't hope to hold. Oh boy. There's a lot of Frenchies shooting you. We're also doing some uh, sniper shooting from the forest by the looks of it. Successfully so, but the machine gun is active. Oh no. No, 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 no. I definitely want to take that machine gun out of commission. They're going to just completely reconquer this place. Damn. Got 65 supply and that's it. Okay, get in there. The problem that I have is I need to constantly suppress this trench. If I don't... Oh, and this one as well. If I don't, then they're just going to keep pushing. They're going to keep shooting all the reinforcements that I send in. And my challenge is, I don't really have a good field of fire. No. No, 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 no. You're all getting suppressed. Cancel the attack. Abort the operation. That's another dead company. This is going to be a really pricey battle. The Allies did a heck of a job defending the place. Sadly, this means all of it is for naught. All of it is useless. Because as they hold... I mean, I might get a victory out of it. But it won't cost them a star. So that means they're going to come back for round two. And they'll have all of their supplies and all of their stuff, just a little bit less morale. What the hell are you people doing? Like they couldn't find a trench to sit in. Oh, they're still doing it. What the hell, dude? What the hell? If I could only spot them, I might be actually able to put some sniper fire on them. Snipers still seem to be grossly overpowered. So all I need to do is not get shot at in World War One. There. Yeah. 
So, um, bring more supplies. That's kind of the crux of the battle. Bring more supplies. Hold on a second. It looks like the Allies want to waste some more men. I thought, well, we can just wait until the battle is over. But no. They're doing uh, what's supposed to resemble a counterattack. Unsuccessfully so. These guys are still running circles. That's really brazen. Just the fact that they can go on a counter-offensive, considering that they really don't have a lot of supplies left. <laughs> Gotta give the AI credit. Either that was half-assed or... Oh, hold on. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Why is the... <laughs> Why is the entire Allied army coming this way? What the hell? One company gone. Two. Three. Four. What the hell is this? Are they gonna try and recapture Bravo? Gone. Gone. They're gonna win here. That's a problem. Uh, let's call in one more company here. We're gonna hold here. We're gonna hold here. We're gonna fold here. We're losing met at an alarming rate. Yeah, but so are they. Potentially even more so. I'm down to my last six supplies. This is pretty dire. But we're also down to the last ten seconds. That was unexpected. Last second counteroffensive. Ceasefire. So what's the damage to both sides? Seven and a half thousand men on my part. Nine and a half on their part. They lost 15 heavy artillery, but they're going to respawn. I lost a thousand. They lost 1,700. Right. Not quite as well as hoped. It does count as a major victory. Good. They lost 15 willpower. Good. But no star change. They just held both of their stars. So Chateau, oh sorry, Brian Le Chateau is still holding strong. Um, we're going to hit them again with every single man that I have on Chalant Suman and just push into these people, but not this episode. I'm going to do that next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, even though it didn't quite pan out as well as I had hoped. And I'll see you guys soon for the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.